There's also another aspect to this because vacant buildings can be vulnerable to rodent infestations during this level five lockdown. I'm joined by Richard Faulkner from Rent Kill. Morning to you, Richard. Morning, how are you? How are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm in, in Clunny in the Meath Dublin border at the moment. Yeah, you have no snow up there, I take it, have you? No, Not, no snow yet, no, none yet. All right. Richard, this is a very interesting topic here because you've got the magnificent seven uh, points that you'd like to raise to help people prevent the presence of rod- rodents on your premises. Uh, with rent a kill are you getting many call-outs about vacant premises and rodent infestations? Yeah, yes, we, we are, and especially between lockdowns when we sort of come out of lockdown phase and then more businesses open up that have been vacant. And when people get it back in them, they're going to find infestations of rodents and other things as well. And is it, so, is it mostly rats or is it mice or what is it at um, the moment? Um, with a lot of mouse activity and, and some rat activity, more sort of urban areas, we're getting more of the rat activity at the moment. Yeah, and is it because, uh, like what you said to me before I spoke to you at the start of this pandemic and you were saying there was a lot of, of these uh, uh, vermin kind of moving in from outlying areas, is, is the same thing happening? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it, again, uh, a vacant building is a nice stable environment as well. It's nice and quiet, there's nothing to disturb them. So this plays, plays a factor on it as well. Well, let's, let's get the, the, the tips for business and then I might just get a few tips for people about their homes as well, about leave, not leaving back doors open, etc. First of all, yeah. you, you've got seven tips. The first one is doors. Yeah. So doors, again, it, it works for home and it works for businesses as well. Um, general rule of thumb of doors is um, if you're going in and out or going out to do something, don't leave your doors open. Um, I'm really bad at this when it, it's like my back door. If I'm going out to do something in the garden or going out to put bins out or cut the grass or whatever, I'm really bad at leaving my back door open. Okay. Um, and, and that, again, because pests are opportunistic, it allows them in. And the other thing is to make sure that your door's properly fitted. If there's a gap at the base of the door, any gap of, of bigger than five mils circumference, you're going to get a mouse through. So it's just to make sure that it's fitted with an excluder, so something like a bristle strip or a bumper seal or something like that. All right, so that's, that's the door. The next one is pipe work. <laughs> yeah, pipe work, really big thing. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, my mouse activity, we find it, it's in under the cupboards, under the hot press, um, those sort of areas. So pipe exits, especially outside the building, any gaps around them need to be sealed. Again, if you can get a pen through, you're going to get a mouth through. So pipe exits, cable exits, those sort of things. If you've had work recent, um, recently done, um, last year I got a outside tap fitted, um, and that was the same. I had to seal the gap around that. Yeah, so pipes. Things yeah. like that, yeah. Simple things. Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't think structural it. things that they're made. No. Yeah, and again, yeah, you're yeah. looking at the gap and it doesn't look at anything. But if you can get a pen through, you're going to get your mouse in. That's what I was saying. You wouldn't think of pipe work instinctively, would you? You, you, would, you no. would spot holes, though. And where are the holes often made? Now, this is we're talking about business premises at the moment. So there are exterior yeah. walls for cables and pipes. Is that right? Exactly. Mainly those sort of things, especially if services have been, have been taken away or new services have been put in. Um, sometimes you're just going to have holes left. Again, that look reasonably small but still allow that possibility of pest access, so they need to be sealed. Right. Um, all external stuff, So, and it's the same as when you're looking at your external walls. If you've got vents, they need to be properly covered. Air bricks as well should be properly meshed as well, so a galvanised wire mesh um, works brilliantly for this. Uh, is it only because of uh, the, the premises being vacant, or would you, if you, even if you're actually working within the premises, albeit with a smaller team at the moment, should you still yeah. say cover your yeah, no, and your all, all of this stuff I would do as a rule of thumb. It doesn't. Again, they're opportunistic. A cavity wall is a great place to hide during the day while you're in there, and then when you vacate the premises after your working time, um, it allows them to then have free reign of, of the building. So all this stuff should just be really done as rule of thumb. doesn't matter if it's occupied or unoccupied. Right, the next two are the eaves and vegetation, which is an interesting one. Let's look at eaves first off, which is an obvious one if you have a, yeah. if you have a problem there. So again, eaves, again, anything that's damaged roofing, missing roofing tiles, but eaves and under eaves are an easy access point in. Um, especially when we're looking at rats and people going, how are they going to get up to the eaves? If they're in a sewer system, they can go up the soil stack of the pipe if it's not caged at the top they get off and they're coming under the eaves and we see that quite a lot um so simple thing there is to get any gaps in the eaves filled and just make sure that there's a a cage put on top of your soil stack and that cage does two things it's stopping 
anything like a rat coming out and it stops a bird sort of nesting or blocking it on the way in so it allows the proper ventilation of your soil stack. Yeah, well, that, that was one that I'm sure people would be very much aware of, but the next two are very interesting at this time of the year, vegetation and lawns, and I'm fascinated. Tell me more. Yeah, so vegetation, again, um, I'm looking out at my garden at the moment and um, I've got a lot of sort of brambles and ivy at the back fence um, and it's almost like a little wild area. That area is really conducive, especially for things like field mice because you're giving them cover and that our rodents need cover to move. They don't like moving out in the open. They prefer to move along walls and stuff with cover. So if you cut back vegetation, you're taking away that cover. And later on in the year as well, um, I've actually got some blackberry brambles out in my garden. They are fruiting, so that's an attraction to pests. So you're taking away a food source and you're taking away cover by cutting back your vegetation. So yeah. that's quite an important thing to do. And the lawns? Um, lawns as well. Um, not so much of an issue at the moment because most lawns, after their last cut at the end of autumn, winter, um, are quite short, but when they start to grow and they get a little bit higher again, it's giving things like mice cover to move. Um, and also grass seeds, and grass seeds are another food source. Yeah. So it's just making sure you basically keep your landscaping quite tidy um, and just be aware of these things as well. And um, all you've said there has been predominantly towards business, but when it comes to household protection against the vermin, is it the same advice? <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, if you keep your gardens very tidy, um, especially things like can, that can collect standing water because rats need 60 mils of water a day, remove those. Yeah, keep, keep, keep your garden as tidy as possible. Um, keep it well tended, well maintained um, and remove as much of the cover as you can. And then same thing with your pool, make sure your, your back doors or your doors and windows are shut when not in use. Uh, make sure the doors are fitting properly. Any holes around cables or little gaps if you've had something put in or moved out, um, get them filled because, again, they're just entry points. So, yeah, it's a general rule of thumb. It works for domestic premises as well for businesses. Right. I, I can't be too commercial, so I can't go into pricing, but I'm fascinated by something that you with Rent-A-Kill have come up with, and it's called Pest Connect. What is it? It's infrared signals or something. It fascinates me. What is it? It, 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 it? It's technological advancement. It's, it's like well, there's everything technology these days. So what it is, it basically gives your site 24-hour protection. So it's an unmanned pest control protection system. Um, and it doesn't rely on poisons. We can use it with um, traps and humane dispatch units. So um, these are on a system that of using, as you said, infrared sensors. Um, sensors. They're um, triggered automatically when the rodent goes into them. The rodents dispatch and we get sent a signal which then says, look, we, we need to go to the premises. So especially in the times that we're in, it's reducing human contact. We're not having to be on site um, and your site's getting protected when you're not there, yeah. which is which is a really, really good thing. So, yeah, um, this is sort of becoming a lot, a lot more popular because of the times we're in. Um, and it is, it's all about reducing contact and keeping up social distancing. Richard, and, um, yeah, you've given uh, some fantastic advice and I know you're in huge demand by local radios right around Ireland today, but uh, uh, thankfully, Wexford uh, yeah. is not in the top five counties for, no, for Lord and Collins. Yeah, Wexford's Wick, Wick, outside at the moment, you never know, though. Um, but anybody who wants any advice, there's a Rent-A-Kill website, which is www.rentakill.ie, or there's a number you can call, which is 1890 and there'll be people there to answer your questions and help you. So, okay, thanks, Richard. Stay well. That's my pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. Good, good morning Bye. to you. That was the uh, Advanced Technical Field Consultant for rent kill Richard Faulkner, giving some very important tips, particularly with the emphasis on vacant premises.